Welcome, my friends. Alliteration Gaming back here with another video on the Transformers TCG. This time, this will be the first episode of a new series I am calling Datapad, where we just take a look at the newest Transformers TCG reveals, news, discussion, anything like that. Go over it a little bit, put in my thoughts and all that, all on the handy dandy Datapad. So, episode one here is going to be, of course, on the first expansion coming out, Metroplex. Now, if you're playing the Transformers TCG and you don't know about this expansion, you've got to be living under a rock or something. This thing has been so hyped for weeks and weeks now. We've been asking and asking and begging for leaks and bits and reveals, anything regarding this set. And they've been giving us little things bit by bit, like you can practically see Metroplex's robot mode um, completely on the on the stock image, but it still didn't really tell us anything, like how do Titans work? What are the star values? What are the other cards going to do? Like, well, how do they work with the other character cards? How is all this going to work? Now, yesterday, as I'm recording this video yesterday, they sent an early copy out uh, to a popular YouTuber who gave us a very, very, very bad showing of it. Um, we just pretty much had to piece together things uh, from really Really, really blurry screenshots of the video. Um, very, very poor. But apparently, um, Hasbro Wizards uh, decided that while well, since we, since they sent that out, they might as well actually show us what the things do. So about a couple hours ago, again as of recording this, they revealed everything on their Facebook page. A full screenshots of all the characters, all the battle cards, both sides, and all the details. And we finally know how Metroplex works. So. Before we get into that, I do want to give a quick shout out again to Top Deck TCG. Really, 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 really cool website, kind of like a TCG information hub. They sell uh, singles there too. They do a lot of stuff. They post articles. They share videos of different content creators. Really cool site. Um, if you go there, they have lots of Transformer singles. They're one of the few places doing singles. They just restocked on a bunch of the rare character cards. And if you use the promo code Alliteration Gaming, you get 10% off your order, which is tight. Anyway, now on to Metroplex. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at Metroplex in city mode because his alternate mode is kind of what mm, explains his character a little bit more. So he does clock in at 25 stars. There's little fives in each of the stars there. That is 25 stars. It's him and only him. So that already clears up our first question of how much stars will be. And then his immediate effect clears up the second question. How do the other character cards work? Because his first effect is this begins the game with these three characters under it. Scamper, City Patrol, Six Gun, Heavy Weapons Expert, and Slammer, Combat Drone. So that makes sense. Um, they start out under him, and then when you flip to this mode, deploy a character from under him to the battlefield. Okay, cool. Finally, uh, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. They, the other cards start under him, amusingly enough, and then he deploys them when you flip into your alt mode. That's totally wicked. That is that is super cool. And his stats are four attack and two defense. The actual average is completely average. Um, and then 35 health. Very, very not average. Um, but again, it makes sense because this is, you know, this is the boss deck. This is the Titan. You take down Metroplex, you take down the deck. That's how it really, uh, that's how it's really going to go when it comes to playing this deck. So all this makes sense. This alt mode really, really answers a lot of our questions and is going to lead us into everything else. So then taking a look at him in robot mode, he simply trades uh, one defense for two attack, uh, same everything else. Um, and then his robot mode ability is when he attacks and you flip at least two of each color, being white, blue, and orange, you tap all your opponent's enemies and do one damage to each of them. Um, so we saw this, uh, we were able to see this um, on the stock image when Metroplex was first revealed, but we didn't really understand it too much. It just kind of seemed like a really generically strong effect. But now that we know that he's the only bot you start out with, this makes a lot of sense. Because if you're going first, or I mean, whichever, on your first turn, you're not going to be able to deploy anything unless you have like rapid conversion or something like that. Um, so you're going to be just one bot attacking. So then you'll be tapped out. And then your opponent can just swing with their whole team on you, which is uh, really bad. So it kind of makes sense why they gave him such a gross amount of health, because it's designed to not necessarily just be the full health of an entire team, but to be able to actually withstand a lot of the hits in the early game before you can start getting going. Your opponent's going to be able to swing on you a lot. Um, so you can definitely see the rapid conversion and rollout are, uh, are both going to be really, really good in this deck. But regardless, this is why you have this effect, because if you get to tap each enemy, then after the Metroplex swings, everything will untap, so your opponent will only get the one attack on you. So this makes sense. Um, and that's why it's good in this deck. How realistic it is, that is a lot more arguable. Um, we do have a couple ways to give Metroplex bold that we're going to get into throughout the rest of this video. Um, but for now, it does seem a little slow, does seem a little meh, not sure if it will be, you know, like the bee's knees like people wanted it to. 
But let's not judge him fully just yet. Let's get into the rest of his cards. So the first character card we're going to get into is Scamper. Scamper is a car melee with two attack, two defense, and four health. Um, spoiler alert: these are all weenies. They're all getting one shotted. Like these, these, these cards are all small as heck. They're they're not meant to have any like staying power in the field. They're just meant to support Metroplex. Um, so they do each also clock in at four stars. So interesting note that you can kind of use them to round out other teams. Like if you have a team that um, is only about twenty one stars, you can round them out with one of these these guys, they won't do anything because their effects all require Metroplex, but it is a thing you can do. And his effect is simply your Metroplex has bold one. So immediately we're seeing some bold for Metroplex, which is good. We want that. We want that Metroplex bold so we can try and get that effect off. And it's really nice that it's in the alt mode too, because they have confirmed that like how you start with a character in alt mode um, in, at the start of the game, they get deployed in alt mode as well. So you, the second you, you flip into your city mode and get this guy out, you have an auto bold one, which is really nice. It, that's going to help Metroplex a lot. If you don't swing with it, this will just stay there um, until you do have to swing with it, obviously, and your opponent can attack it. But until then, it will just stay there and constantly give Metroplex bold, which is quite nice. Then going into his bot mode, he simply trades a defense for an attack, going up to three attack. Um, but the real goody here is when you flip into this mode and you have Metroplex on the battlefield, you can scrap an enemy weapon or armor. Now, this is really strong. This is completely free, conditionless um, scrapping of any anything you want. Well, not utilities, but, you know, anything that you really want, you can scrap uh, with this, which is really, really nice. Just the utility of being able to take out any of those upgrades that you want is really, really nice. And it is a little slow, and I can understand why it's really high cost in this deck, because it is your flip for the turn. And you want to be flipping Metroplex a lot, so you can keep deploying guys. So I see why this isn't, like, unbalanced anyway. It definitely is very appropriately cost in the terms of the deck. So, again, wrap a conversion and rollout, going to be pro in this deck. So moving on, we have Six Gun. Uh, Six Gun in his alt mode has two attack, one defense, and five health. So ultimately, uh, just like Scamper, uh, six, six damage will take him out. And his ability in alt mode was when your Metroplex attacks, deal one damage to the defender. Uh, so that's really nice. Again, like you deploy this for Metroplex, and it just has a nice passive effect that you'll immediately get value from in the alt mode, which is really handy. I mean, it's still free damage. Like There's not a whole lot to say about that, but it is handy. Uh, and then in bot mode, this is when he gets really nice. Uh, he trades his one defense for uh, two extra attack which is pretty nice actually he, he can he can actually kind of hit um which isn't terrible uh when you flip into this mode your metroplex gets bold too so again it's a little slow because you want to be using your flips really actively on metroplex but you can once you get this set up give your metroplex bold too which combined with some other cards can stack a lot of bold and actually lead into getting that uh that metroplex effect off in bot mode where you tap all your opponent's enemies um so this was really nice I, I like this guy a lot i think scamper's probably a little better just because the utility of being able to just destroy anything is strong but this is also strong i feel like you're probably gonna be deploying this guy second maybe and then lastly, we have Slammer. So Slammer is a combat drone. He has no um, he has no bot mode. He has just this alt mode here. Um, they have stated that the back of him, it just looks like one of the normal um, battle cards, just on the size of a character card. Um, so he's a ranged tank with three across the board, three attack, three health, three defense. So again, six damage, takes him out. Um, and when you deploy this from under Metroplex, you deal one damage to each enemy. Um, so that's really nice. And then once again, your Metroplex has bold one. So the second you deploy this, you get that instant value of bold one. So yeah, these guys all give him bold, you know, big shocker. Um, he has an effect that activates on flipping multiple uh, colors. They are all his support cards give him bold. Um, so it's really nice. This guy is really nice too. Like all of these are really, really solid cards um, in their in their own right of the context of Metroplex. So I appreciate that. As far as the consistency of being able to get them out fast enough for it to really matter, that's going to take some testing. I think the pacing of this deck is going to be really, really odd because um, we have seen all the cards for it. So, like, we can start testing it. We know what's on the table. Um, but overall, uh, that's the three character cards. Overall, I think they are really good in what Metroplex needs them to do and what they want to do in general. So moving on to Metroplex's exclusive battle cards. First, we have Rally the City. So this is one of the first ones they showed us. And it's simply, if you have Metroplex on the battlefield, draw a card for each character you have on the battlefield. Now, a lot of people freaked out because they thought that uh, Metroplex would be less than 25 stars and you would start out with all the characters. So this would just be an instant draw four, which would be insane. But no, it's very, very, very balanced. Um, it sports a white pip too. It's very balanced in the sense that, you know, after you take a lot of turns of getting a lot of guys out, you can start drawing a lot of cards and really rewarding yourself for that process. Um, at the same time though, I'm not sure how how good it's going to be because you're going to have to start attacking with them at some point. Your opponent will be able to take them out really easily. But I suppose that does take away the focus from Metroplex. So maybe that's what you want. Maybe this is like a bait, you know, kind of thing. 
Either way, it's definitely a good card in the deck, and it, it's a nice thing that they gave Metroplex to have his own exclusive amount of draw power. Like, a lot of the other drawing cards that we have in this game don't actually plus you in any sense. Like, Incoming Transmission is draw two, but you don't plus. Um, Inspiring Leadership is draw three, but you pitch two, so you don't plus. Um, you know, things like Backup Plan can plus you, depending on how many cards you have. Same with System Reboot, but they're not, like, as hard pluses. If this is just straight up a hard plus. You're, you're not losing things for this. Um, so it's a nice card. Next is Protected by Metroplex. So with an orange pip, we have a utility upgrade. If the upgraded character would take damage, instead your Metroplex takes that damage. Uh, so it's kind of like a heroism, except you don't put it on the thing taking damage, you put it on the thing that's getting attacked. So you can put this on the little guys and pour all that damage into Metroplex. So that is very nice. This is actually going to give your little guys some survivability in the future turns, which is really going to help with the process of getting them all together, especially to use stuff like Rally the City. Uh, so this is definitely very good. This is absolutely going to be going to be a must in the deck. Um, obviously, it's a Metroplex support card, but it's definitely definitely good. They really um, they really thought about what the deck needed right here and put it into an upgrade. Um, so I like this card. I like this card a lot. Like being able to convert any damage into like basically non-existent because the the Metroplex is taking the damage. and Metroplex has such a huge health pool to throw around for them. I like this a lot. The last one is Height Advantage with a blue pip. We have an action that gives one of our Titans bold four until the end of the turn. Now it does say Titans, so we're definitely getting more Titans in the future for this to go to. This is the only one that doesn't specify Metroplex in any way. Um, so we're definitely getting those Titans coming in. I imagine, you know, it's just in there because this is like the Metroplex set. I could definitely see this if they make other Titan sets, including this card, possibly with different art. Um, but wild speculation aside, this this is a mini Dino Chomp. This is a mini Dino Chomp, only one card short of Dino Chomp, for no cost on a card that gets insane benefit for flipping um, enough amounts of the different colors in the game. This is incredibly strong. This is incredibly, incredibly strong. I mean, these these three cards, I think, are honestly a lot better than the character cards. I mean, you can't really compare them in that sense, but, like, you kind of have to play them either way. But these cards are really good. Like, these three cards, I think, are very strong as opposed to the character cards, who it's like, okay, well, yeah, I mean, I play these because I'm playing Metroplex. But these these cards are these cards are straight up good, um, especially in the context of the deck. <laughs> So I really like these. So as far as, you know, after we've taken a look at everything together, you know, we're thinking, is playing Metroplex worth it? Do these six cards, or I guess these these three cards mostly, because you have to play the, the bots come with Metroplex, essentially. But are these cards worth playing Metroplex? Um, I'm not sure. As far as the context of Metroplex, like I said, the whole swinging first thing, you being tapped out, and then your opponent getting to just, like, slam all their guys on you, that seems really, really slow. And I, I can definitely see, like, I wish they would have given Metroplex some card that lets you transform more. Like, if they would have given, like, a rapid conversion, like, but only, like, on a Titan, or only on Metroplex or something like that, I would have really, really liked something like that, something to speed up the deck. Like, the support cards are great, but none of them speed the deck's pace up very well. So I could see issues with this deck being slow, especially against faster decks um, like Cars and Insecticons, especially against Insecticons. Being a four wide deck, they're going to be able to just ram into you, and that deck packs damage. That deck can take out Metroplex like in just a couple turns. So I could see some issues of this being a bit of a slow deck, especially against some of the faster decks. Um, Against some of the other slower decks, like against tanks, like, I feel like you just body tanks really hard because they're never really going to be able to, like, kill you. They don't just don't have the damage to you. Like, their slow grind game of Pierce and stuff is not what they want to play against you. Um, Dinobots are hyper-aggressive, but at the same time, they don't get value out of the Grimlock overkill um, against Metroplex. And if you can tap them all down and just, like, like, that seems really, really, really strong. So, and especially with Dinobots being such a contender for, like, the arguable best deck, I could see that being a really good point for Metroplex. So, so far, like, you know, theory crafting wise it seems like we've got a lot of pros and a lot of cons on the table. I think there just definitely hasn't been enough time to process everything going on with Metroplex now that we have them out. I think people could find some really, really strong things to play with Metroplex, um, as far as the main deck goes, a lot of cards that can be really good with him. And I think we just need to give the community a chance to see what we can do with Metroplex. I'm personally going to be testing him a lot. Of course, I'm really eager to see what this deck can do and how it fares against the other decks. And uh, we'll definitely see videos of that in the future. Um, possibly a Metroplex deck profile in the future, too. I'm sure someone at my locals is going to put it together. Um, but for now, without just speculating more about nonsense, that's all I really have to say on Metroplex as a whole. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this format. Um, part of it seems a little ratchet, but I think it's a little fun. And it's a little more personal than just, you know, pictures on a screen as I'm talking. Um, I kind of like it a lot, especially in the thematic sense. But uh, just let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll definitely be doing um, more videos like this. Uh, hopefully we get that Wave 2 announcement soon, some details of it. 
I can easily see a speculation video on what could be in there, stuff like that. Um, a lot of really cool stuff in the future coming, especially if I decide to keep up something like this, this format going on. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think of Metroplex down in the comments. Who's pre-ordering him? Who's ready to play this giant freaking Titan, no matter how good or bad it is? And who's ready to heed the call of the last Prime? Thanks, guys. Till next time.